Luke. The book of Luke. The book of Luke chapter 22. Ano po? Ha? Ah, yes. Tumayo po tayo lahat. Book of Luke chapter 22. Babasahin po natin ang buong uh, chapter ng book of Luke. Oho. Kaya tatawagin ko si Cesar. Ah, sino ba pwede mong basa dyan? Ah, lumapit doon sa pulpito at sila mag-lead para maipahinga ko itong aking uh, throat. Ano? Ah, Bunta doon sa pulpit at basahin po sa atin yung Luke chapter 22. Kung meron kayong mga Bible dyan sa mga tahanan nyo, kahit na modern version, kunin nyo na. Sundin nyo na lang kami sa binabasa kapagkat King James po ang binabasa namin. Alright? So sundin nyo po kami Luke chapter 22, ito po ay merong uh, hanggang uh, 71 verses. 71 verses po ito. Ah, ito po ay patungkol sa mga huling araw ng ating Panginoon. Okay? So basahin po natin ang dahan-dahan, atin pong namnamin ang salita ng Panginoon, at mamaya papaliwanag po natin ito sa inyo. Okay? Alright, Kuya Cesar, lakasan mo ang pagbasa. Oh, para maranig din po sa Bienvenido de Mirando Abante FB Live. Okay? okay? God bless you as you read it. Okay, sabay-sabay po nating basahin. Verse 1. Now the peace of the living bread drew nigh, which is called the Passover. And the chief priests and the scribes sought how that they may kill him, for they feared the people. And entered Satan into Judas, her name is Cariot, being numbered of the twelve, and he went his way and communed with the chief priests and captains how he might betray him unto them. And they were glad and commanded to give him money, and he promised and sought opportunity to betray him unto them in the absence of the multitude. Then came the day of the unleavened bread, and the Passover must be killed. And St. Peter and John saying, Go and prepare us the Passover, that we may eat. And they said unto him, Where is thou be prepared? And he said unto him, Behold, when you are entered into the city, there shall a man meet you, bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him to the house where he answered in. He shall say unto the good man of the house, The master said unto thee, Where is the guest chamber? Where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples. And he shall show you a large upper room furnished, there make ready. And they went and found, as he said unto them, and they made ready the Passover. And when the hour was come, he sat down, and the twelve apostles with him. And he said unto them, If you desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. And he took bread and gave thanks and break it and gave unto them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. Likewise also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. But behold, the hand of him that betrayed me is with me in the table. And truly the Son of Man goeth as it was determined, but woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. And they began to inquire among themselves, which of them was the should do this thing. And there was, there was also, also a strife among them, which of them should be accounted the greatest. The greatest. And, he and he said unto them, The king of the Gentiles exercised lordship over them, them and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. But ye shall not be so, but he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger, and he that is chief, as he that doth serve. For whether is greater, he that, he that seateth, seateth at meat, meat or he, he that, that serveth, is not he that seateth on meat, but I am I among you as he as that serveth. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. 
and I appoint unto you a kingdom, as my Father hath appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on the throne judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, and he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. And he said unto him, Lord, I am ready to go with thee, both unto prison and to death. And he said, I tell thee, Peter, the cock shall not crow this day, before that thou shalt thrice deny that thou knowest me. And he said unto them, When I sent you without purse and squib, and shoes, lacked he anything, and they said nothing. Then said he unto them, But now he that is a purse, let him take it, and likewise his script, and he that hath no sword, let him sell his garment, and buy one. For I say unto you, that this that is written must yet be accomplished in me, that he was reckoned among the transgressors, for the things concerning me have an end. And, and they, they said, Lord, Lord behold, behold, here are two swords. swords. And he and said unto them, them it is enough. And, and he came out and went, as he was wont, not of olives. olives. And his, and his disciples, disciples also followed him. And when and he was at the place, he said unto them, them Pray that ye enter not into temptation. And he was withdrawn from them about the stone cast, and knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. And his sweat was, was it were a drop of blood falling down from the ground. And when he rose, he rose up from prayer, and was come to his disciples, he found them sleeping for sorrow. sorrow. And, and said unto them, Why sleep ye? Rise, rise and pray, and pray lest ye enter, enter into temptation. temptation. And while, and while he yet spake, behold, a multitude, and he, and he that, was that was called Judas, Judas one of the twelve, went before him and drew near unto Jesus, Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus, but Jesus said unto him, Judas, betrayest thou the Son of Man with a kiss? kiss? When they when which they were about him saw what he would follow, they said, they said unto him, Lord, shall we smite with the sword? And one of them smote the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. And Jesus answered and said, Suffer ye thus far, and thou touch his ear and healed him. Then Jesus said unto the chief priests and captains of the temple and the elders which were come to him, Be come out and against the thief with sword and staves. I was daily in you, stretch forth no hand against me, but this is your hour, and the power of darkness. Then took they him, and led him, him and brought him, him into the high priest's house, and Peter followed afar off. And when they had kindled the fire in the midst of the hall, and were set down together, Peter sat down among them. But a certain maid beheld him, and he sat by the fire, and earnestly looked upon him, him and, and said, This man was also with him. And he denied him, saying, Woman, I knew, knew him not. not. And after, after a little, little while, while, another, another saw, saw him and said, said Thou art also of them. And Peter said, Man, man I am not. And about, about the space of one, one hour after another confidently affirmed, saying, Of a truth, this fellow also was with him. He is a Galilean. And Peter said, Man, I know not what thou sayest. And immediately, while he yet spake, the cock grew. And the Lord turned and looked upon Peter. And Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said unto him, Before the cock grew, he shall deny me thrice. And Peter went out and wept bitterly. And the man that tells Jesus mocked him and smote him. And when they had blindfolded him, they struck, struck him on the face, and asked him, saying, Prophesy, who is he that, that smote thee? And many, and many other things blasphemously speak they against him. him. And, and as soon as it was day, 
the elders of the people, and the, and the chief priests, and the scribes came, came together and led, and led him their counsel, counsel saying, Art thou the Christ? Tell us. us. And he said unto, unto them, I tell you, tell you, you, you will, will not believe. believe. And if I also ask you, you will and not answer, answer me, nor let me go. Hereafter, Hereafter shall, shall the Son of Man sit on the, on the right hand, hand of the power of God. God. Then, then said they all, Art thou, thou then the Son of God? And he said unto them, You say that I am. And they said, That they may be further witness, for we ourselves have heard of this own mouth. All right, shall we pray? Manilangin po tayo, Lord. We come before your throne of grace. We ask, Lord, that you would bless your word today. We ask that you would give understanding to your Holy Spirit, Father God, as we, as we witness and read about the sacrifice of, our, of your dear Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who died because of us. May now bless each and one dear Father God, those who are listening and watching to our live stream today. Christ, we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Nakikita niyo po rito na sa buong chapter, 71 verses. Eh, dalawa lang po ang very prominent na personality dito po sa buong chapter nito. Of course, palagay ko, kilala niyo na kung sino. Yan po si Judas at yan po si Peter. Oh. Na kailan po nangyari? Malapit na po yung Feast of the Unleaving Bread na tinatawag po nilang Passover. Ano po ba ibig sabihin ng Passover? Pumunta po tayo ng Exodus. Nakita natin po na ang bansang Israel ay pinipigil lang po ni Pharaoh na umalis at magtayo ng kapitalang sariling bansa. Ano po? Tumadami po sila sa land of Goshen, sa Egypt. At natatakot po yung Pharaoh, sapagkat yung Pharaoh po at that time ay iba ng Pharaoh kaysa ron sa Pharaoh na kilala si Joseph. Ano po? O kilala si Moses. Wala na po yun. Okay? Ay kilala pa rin si Moses, pero si Joseph ay hindi na po kilala. Ano po? Kaya uh, naging slaves, ginawang slaves ng Pharaoh ang mga Israelita. Sila po ang gumawa ng mga sila po ang gumawa ng mga pyramids. Sila po ang nagpayaman sa Egypt at that time, mga kaibigan. Sila po ay virtually mga slaves. Ano po. And they're crying out to God, Lord, kailan mo kami ililigtas dito? At nakita po natin na tinawag ng Panginoon si Moses na galing din po sa Egypt. Siya po ay inampun ng prinsesa ng Egypt Pinag-aral po siya at siya po ay parang naging Egyptian prince. Ngayon dumating ang panahon, nakita po niya inaapi ang Hebrew at alam niya Hebrew siya. Hindi siya makatiis, napatay po niya yung Egyptian at nagtaguna po siya pagkatapos niya. Doon po sa media na pinagtaguan niya, kinausap siya ng ating Panginoon. Sabi sa kanya, Moses, you'll go back to Egypt and you will go back as their deliverer. Ano po? Tayo po ni Moses sa Panginoon, Lord, what, can I, what will I say? I'll give you the words to say. Huwag kang matakot. I am that I am that sent you. So, uh, sa madaling sabi, he went back to Egypt with Aaron, yung kanya spokesman. When they went back, sinabi niya sa Pero, Pero, let my people go. That they might serve the Lord. Ayaw po ni Pero. Kaya ang Panginoon po nagpadala ng mga plague sa kanila. Ah, Lalo nagmatigas sa Pero. Hanggang ang Panginoon po nagpadala ng kauli-uli ang plague. Ano po yung plague na yan? Yun po yung mga, ang mga eldest, eldest son ng bawat Egyptian family will die. Ngayon, upang hindi magalaw ang mga anak ng mga Israelite home, sinabi ni Moe sa kanila na inutos ang Panginoon, pumatay kayo ng uh, isang lamb, tupa, yung dugo niya, ilagay niyo sa lintel, post ng inyong bahay at sa ibabaw, dadaan yung angel of death, pagdaan ang angel of death at nakitang meron dyan blood, 
Sabi nga si, sa Exodus, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Yun po ang simula ng feast of the Passover. Ibig sabihin, they are commemorating, celebrating how the Lord delivered them from the hands of the oppressor. From the hands of the one that made them slaves. Kaya nga po, Egypt, the typology, is the type of the world. You know that? Ito po ang Egypt na to, type po ng world yan. Na ang mundo ito, mga kaibigan, kinagawa tayong slave. Kita niyo yung mga tao na hindi makaalis sa kanilang mga bisyo. Sigarilyo, alak, sugal, babae, nightclub. Ngayon, lalaki na. Oh, lahat po ng klaseng bisyo. Sa mundo po lahat yan. Kamunduan po lahat yan. Korupsyon sa pera, sa lahat ng bagay. At alam nyo, nakaka-addict po yan. That's the reason why they cannot get away because they're addicts to it. Oh, pinapa- pinapakita po ng mundo, pag ikaw sumunod sa akin, di ka na makain pera. Ah, magiging successful ka. Naging addict po ang tao. Nahihirapan sila mga kaibigan. Oh, we are slaves of the world. And you know what? Si Moses po is the type of the Lord Jesus Christ. Only the Lord Jesus Christ can deliver us from the slavery of sin. Yung namatay siya, yung dugong nabuo sa kus ng kalbari. When God sees the blood in your life, ah, they will pass over you. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka napupunta pa ah, sa slavery. You will be set free. Yan po ang ibig sabihin ng Feast of the Passover na nakakalungkot ay hindi po naintindihan ng karamihan ng mga Hudyo. And this is another Passover. At tamang-tama po itong Passover na ito because that will be the last kasi ang Passover po, ginagawa po ng mga Hudyo. Kami ang magkikita niyo. Sila po ay pamilya that huddles in their own home Papatay po sila ng tupa. Okay? Yan pong tupang yan, tatanggal ng mga taba. Pagkatapos po niyan, iihaw po nila yan. Yan ang kanilang magiging Passover fish. Ano po? Yung, 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 yung tupa mismo, yung laman ng tupa. Mga kaibigan. Ha? And then, yung pong dugo niyan, ibubuo sila sa alta. Okay? That is the type of the blood of Christ that was shed on Calvary's cross for our sin. Kaya hindi po tubig ang nakakapag, nakakapagpahugas ng ating kasalanan, kundi ang dugo ng ating Panginoon sa Christ. How? By faith. By faith. Tinatanggap natin ang Panginoon sa ating buhay. By faith. Naniniwala tayo sa ginawa ng Panginoon sa kusang kabaryo. By faith. We accept Him by faith. We believe that His blood is the one that will take away our sins. By faith, believing in what the Word of God says. Huh? When God sees the blood in your life, then you will not be killed and die and go to hell. Yan pong ibig sabihin ng Passover. Yan po yung tamang-tama na ang Panginoon po ay mamamatay. Mamamatay po siya. At that very time, okay, this might be around uh, Tuesday, until Tuesday night, until coming on Wednesday, mga kaibigan. Oo. And ito, ito na po si Judas, verse number three. Then entered Satan into Judas. Surname Iscariot. Ano po? Iscariot. Ano po bang ibig sabihin ng Iscariot? Ang ibig sabihin ng Iscariot is the man of Keriot inhabitant of the of a town called Kerio. And Judas is so popular who was the one that betrayed the Lord Jesus Christ. And yan po siya. Oo. Being of the number of the twelve. At nung pa yan, pupunta na po siya sa chief priest. Oo. Naghahanap siya ng pagkakataon to betray him. Ha? At nag-usap na sila kung how much na pera ang ibibigay sa kanya kapag ito ay kanyang nagawa. In verse number 6, And he promised and sought opportunity to betray him unto them in the absence of the multitude. Well, 
that night. Oh, andun din po si Judas. That night, they are preparing for the last Passover. Oh, the last Passover. Dalawa po yung supper na ginawa nila. The last Passover and the Lord's Supper. Tinatawag nating the last supper. Hindi po yun. Yung last supper, yun po yung Passover. And then the Lord instituted the first Lord's Supper. Magkaiba po yun, mga kaibigan. That, it said the last Passover because after Jesus Christ was killed on the cross, after Jesus Christ shed His blood, natapos na po lahat ng mga sakripis yung ginagawa ng Hudyo. Ano po? Sa altar. Natapos na po yun. Why? Sapagkat yung mismo type ng nilang ginagawang sacrifice is already on the cross of Calvary, the real sacrifice for sin. Kaya yun last Passover po yan. Pagkatapos ng last Passover, magigit na po natin na sila ay nasa upper room, ano po, and they made the Passover ready in verse number 13. And then they all sat down, the twelve apostles, kasama po si Judas yan. Oo. And then after the Passover feast, ha, nagpatuloy po sila And the Lord instituted the first Lord's Supper. In verse 17, And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. Ito po yung cup na merong fruit of the vine. Hindi po alak ito. Ito po yung grape juice na pure grape juice na walang sugar, walang tubig. It is pure grape juice. Kaya pag tayo po, Naglo Lord's Supper. Ha? Kung wala tayong makuhang pure grape juice na, we make our own juice. O, sapagkat any, any, uh, tawag doon, uh, thing that you join the grape juice, it will corrupt the grape juice. The pure grape juice is the picture of the purity of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. His holy blood that was shed on Calvary's cross. Sa isang cup, mga kaibigan, sa isang cup na ganito, ah, they drank on that same cup. Ah. And then he says, For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine. No, ah. I will not drink of the fruit of the vine. Hindi po ito mompo. Wala pong alcohol content po ito. Hindi po ito fermented sapagkat kapat ang fruit of the vine na ferment na po yan. Ang tawag yan ay wine na. Meron na po yung uh, meron na po alcohol content yan. Yeah. Amiss ko po chemistry. Alam niya po yan. May alcohol content na po yan for the vine. Yan. Hindi na po yan although it's still for the vine but it is no longer pure grape juice but fermented grape juice. Ang pinag-uusapan natin unfermented grape juice. Kaya nga po sa sabi nila ang alag daw po, pag lalong tumatagal, lalong, lalong tumataas ang alcohol content. From the fruit of the vine, nagiging wine, at pagkatapos, nagiging likor. O, nagiging likor. At kung yung pap, matagal na matagal yan, mga kaibigan, magiging alcohol yan. Magiging alcohol po yan. No? Okay. So, fruit of the vine po ito. Alright? And, uh, they took the bread. Gave things and break it. Kung naman bread, wala pong lebadura ito. Hindi po ito tulad ng bread na ganito. Oo, oh, yan, may lebadura po yan. Nakikita po ninyo. Ha? Ayan, yung bread na pong ganito. May lebadura yan. Oh. Asan yung ano? Asan yung bread po dito na... Um, ha? Uh, meron na pong bread dito na... Yung ganito yung ara, 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 Arabic bread. Uh, Arabic bread. Yun po ay halos... Walang lebadura. Papakita ko po sa inyo para makikita po ninyo. Ito, mayroon pong lebadura. May yeast po ito. Kaya, umaangat po ito. So, ito po yung ginagamit nila. Pita bread, whole wheat. Ah, mayroon ba lebadura ito? Mayroon eh. All-purpose flour. Eh. Pero kakaunti lang ito. Kaya ganito po pagkagawa. Kaya para napakita. Ganito po yung bread na ginamit nila. Na wala po itong anumang... Uh, kasamang yeast 
na nagpapataas po. Bakit po? Sapagkat ang yeast po o leaven na tinatawag po sa Bible, that is the picture of corruption. Kaya sabi, a little leaven. Leaven, leaven is the whole lot. Ito ito po yan. Itong tunay hawak na bread. Opo. Ito po yung isang bread na hinati-hati ng Panginoon, binigyan, binigyan at pinaghati-hati. Labing dalawal naman sila. Malaki po yun. Oo. Malaki po yun. Alright. Purity. The body of Jesus Christ is pure. Blameless. Wala pong kasalanan. Oo. Hindi po tayo pwedeng mamatay para sa iba sapagkat tayo mismo mamatay because of our sin. The Lord Jesus Christ died for our sin. Sabi ng Bible, He became sin for us. Siya po ang nagdala ng kasalanan natin although He is not sinful. He is without sin. But He went to the cross without sin and He was the one that bore our sins on the cross. Your sin and my sin. Kaya nga inuutos po ng Panginoon sa mga apostol na at that time they were they were the ecclesia, no? Ang sabi ng Panginoon in verse number 19, This is my body which is given for you this do in remembrance of me. Likewise, all the cup after supper saying this cup is a new testament in my blood which is shed for you. Now, wala po magic yung bread saka yung white, saka yung the mind po, wala po yung magic. Hindi po nagiging literal ang duho ni Christian. Hindi po nagiging literal na katawan ni Christian. Walang magic. But it is only a memorial. A remembrance. Na ginagawa bilang isang ordinance ng ekklesia ng ating Panginoon. Ngayon, marami sa inyo, hindi pa nakakaranas ng Lord's Supper. Bakit po? Hindi po yung ginaganap every time. Ibig sabihin niya, ang puso natin must first be prepared to have that. The whole church must be prepared to have the Lord's Supper. Soon, siguro po, after all of this virus, something like this, we are going to have a Lord's Supper. Okay? Yan po yung isang bagay na kinakailangan po nating malaman. Then what else do we have here? Aba, if you go into the verse number 24, dahil po ito, iusapan na po ito ng mga, ng mga aposo. Sila-sila na lang po nag-uusap po siya. Eh, pinag-uusapan po nila. Sino po yan mga yan? Peter, James, John, John and Jim. Eh, nagpapaligsahan na po kung sino magiging ubo rin siya. Yan ang mas Sa left and right. Alam mo, kahit na aposo ka, may pride pa rin tao eh. Diba? Ano man ang posisyon mo kahit pastor ka? Kung sabihin sa akin, hindi ka nakakasalan, hindi ka nakakabot. May mga pastor na mahilig mag-condemn sa iba. Di ba? Parang sila eh, hindi nakakabot. Yung tinatawag natin, pharisical attitude. Ha? Hindi po tapo tayo. Okay. Alright. Ano sa po ng Panginoon sa kanila? The one that will be greatest among you must serve. Ha? must be the least among you. If you do not know how to serve, you cannot be greater. In verse number 27, for whether is greater, he that seated at me or he that served. Is not he that seated at me, but I am among you as he that served Jesus Christ. What's the example of real service sa ating Panginoon? Okay. Ngayon, si Peter naman ay kanyang pinuntuhan ng Panginoon. In verse 31, bakit? Kasi that, that night, ha? Ha? magkakamali sa Pedro, magkakasala po siya ng palaking pagkakasala. Ang sabi ng Panginoon sa kanya, verse 31, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you that he may seek you. Kasi, ano ibig sabihin? Huwinanin nga po niya si Peter. Peter, kasi ikaw ang parang leader ng grupo. Gustong gusto ka ng jablo. Gusto ka niyang kunin. Ha? Gusto ka niyang kunin. 
Alright? Para ipakita sa iyo sa iba na hindi ka totoo. Okay? Pero sabi ng Panginoon sa kanya, I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen. Thank God. Iba po yung conviction. Iba yung conversion. Iba po yung uh, ikaw ay nasave na and you get converted. Meron pa po tayong meron pang mga taong saved but they're not actually converted. Dapat maging mature tayo sa pananampalataya. And we are not always mature. Now, even the spirituality, spirituality is a day-to-day affair. Maturity comes, you know, when you get mature still, spirituality pa rin yan. Alright? When you get mature in the faith, sabi ni Panginoon ki, ki Peter, when you're able to understand the Word of God, when you really begin to know my will, then, what do you do? You strengthen. You disciple. You edify the brethren. Pero alam mo, mayabang pa rin yung Pedro, di ba? In verse number 33, sabi niya, Lord, I am ready to go with thee both into prison and to death. Lord, Willing ako. Kahit sa kamatayan, willing ako. Lord, kahit kailan, kahit kailan, ha, hindi ako lalayo sa'yo. Hindi ako lilis ang landas over my dead body. Nobody can touch you. Pero alam mo sabi ng Panginoon kay Peter? In verse 34, Peter, ang manok hindi titilaok. Ha? Hanggat hindi mo ko pinagkakaila ng tatlong beses na kilala mo. Yan po, apostle na po yan. Ha? Ang sabi ng Panginoon sa kanya, Peter, hindi ka pa talaga konvertido. Oo, oo anak kita. Oo, save ka. Pero hindi ka pa talaga konvertido. Hindi ka pa malakas sa pananampalataya. You're not net knowledgeable of the will of God in your life. Oo. Ha? Kaya sabihin ko sa iyo ito, hindi titilaok ang manok hanggat hindi mo ko pinagkakaila ng tatlong beses. Yan po ang sinabi ng Panginoon to Peter. So, they went to the Mount of Olives. Alright, verse 39. And the Bible says that they, they went to pray. No? Kasama si Peter, James, and John. Pagkakaroon ng Gethsemane. Ang sabi ng Panginoon sa kanila, okay, mapipray ako dito. Pumunta kayo sa sa doon sa uh, sa lugar na yan, hindi malayo sa akin, mag-pray din kayo. But the Lord found them sleeping. Kaya alam nyo, tatlong beses po yan, no? Napipray ang Panginoon, babalik siya sa tatlong apostle, and He will find them sleeping. Kaya sabi ng Panginoon, the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is sleeping. Mga pati, ganyan po ba tayo? Willing po tayo maglikot, pero mahina yung ating flesh. We're not able to serve. We're always willing to do something for God, pero mahina tayo. Emotionally. We can't do it. Let us not be like that. Okay? Well, ano po nangyari? At that very moment, that night, Judas came with the multitude, with the Roman, with the high priest, at hinalikan niya si Jesus. Yun yung, ano, yun yung, uh, yun yung sign na tama yung ka nalang kinukuha. Kapagat gabi nun eh, yun ang sign. Sino man ang halikan ko, yun na. Hulihin nyo na. Kaya hoy, ingat-ingat po kayo sa hinahalikan nyo ha. Oo, baka halik ni Judas po yung ginagawa ninyo. Oo, maraming mga tao na alam mo, I will be there. I will support you. Meron pang isang nagsabi sa akin nung araw na, I will not bite the hand that fed me. Oh. Eh, dumating ang panong, hindi lang po kinagat yung kamay ko. Pinutol pa. Gusto pa po tulin. Alright. Maraming taong ganyan, no? Mga nga ko, sabihin na, I will never do anything against you yet. What do you find? Judas betrayed his master with a kiss. 
Pero alam nyo, in the book of Matthew, tinawag pa siya ng Panginoong friend. Totoo yun. Ha? So, when they were, when they which, verse 49, when they which were about him so that what would follow, they said unto him, Lord, shall we smite? Ha? Shall we smite with the sword? Lalaban na ba kami, Panginoon? E Merong isa ron si Pedro. Ha? Kanyang tinanggal yung kanyang sword. Eh, kung baril yun, eh, nang baril na siya. Ha? Talagang titirahin niya yung servant ng high priest. Talagang doon sa mukha tatama eh. Buti nga, nakailag. Hindi wala na yan sa Bible, pero talagang nakailag yan. <laughs> si Pedro, mahusay mag-ispada yan. Kailag siya. Tinaman yung thing. And the Lord rebuked him. Hindi po siya pinagbawalan. Magdala ng spada. All the while, magdala siya yung spada eh. Ay, may ibang mga pastor na sobra spirituality niyan na sinasabi, oh, magdala ang padil ka, hindi mo kailangan niya sa salata ng Diyos. You know that? Hindi pinagbawalan. Ang sinabi na ng Panginoon sa kanya, Peter, you keep your sword discovered. Tapos kinuha niya, magtenga, sinauli niya rin sa tao. Okay. Pinapakita po natin mga kaibigan. Pinapakita po dito na pwede pa rin gamitin ng Panginoon ng kanyang kapangirihan. But he didn't use it. Because he came to suffer. And he came to die. Sinabi niya kay Pedro, you know, I can command legions of angels to come to take me out of this place. But I will not do this. Why? Because he promised the Lord that he is going to do the will of the Father. Yun po ang ginawa niya. Alright? So they took him. Ayun. Sa gabi, ah, can you imagine, ha? Wala nang trabaho yan. Mga korte, sarado na. Pinubinuksan nila yan sa gabi. Only to try the Lord Jesus Christ. Oo. Ang tawag doon, mock trial, mga kaibigan. And what the Lord is being tried, Andun po si Pedro. Malayo-layo na yan sa Panginoon. No. O doon, siguro medyo malabig-labig ng konti. Siya ay nag- nagpapainit doon sa fire. No. In verse 56, But a certain maid beheld him as he sat by the fire and earnestly looked upon him. Upon Peter. At sabi niya, Itong taong ito, kasama nung taong In verse 27, Why hindi ako kasama? He denied him saying, Woman, I know him na. Yan ang una. Verse 28, ah, Siguro lumipat siya. Meron na naman tao na sabi, Kasama ka. Sabi ni Pedro, No? Hindi ako kasama niya. Verse 59, One hour later, Meron pang isang talagang siniguro na. Confidently affirmed. Sigurado ako, sabi niya. Itong taong ito, kasama nung kasama nung Jesus na yan. Sapagkat kadaliyan siya. In verse 60, ang sabi ni Pedro, Man, I do not know what you're talking about. Immediately, pagkatapos po ng pangatlong pagkakailan niya sa Panginoon, tumila ako ang manok. And the Lord turned and looked upon people. Tumingin po, Panginoon, kay Pedro. I think it was a look of love, a look of compassion to him, a look of understanding, not a look of judging him. And Peter remembered the Lord the Lord. Peter remembered. And in verse 62, it says, And Peter went out and wept bitterly. Ano po pagkakaiba ni Judas at ni Pedro? Si Pedro po, kanya inamin ang kanyang kasalanan. At ang tumingin ng Panginoon sa akin. Nag-confess po siya, inamin niya. Nagsisi siya. He wept bitter. Then later on, the Lord began to use him so mightily. Makabasa mo yung buko ba? Si Judas po nito. Tigas po si Judas. Talagang pinagkanulo niya tapos nalaman niya na ito po lang pinagkanulo niya, inisente, kaya nagbalik po siya. Sa high priest, tinapon niya yung pera binigay sa kanya. 
Sabi niya ganyan, I have betrayed innocent blood. Pero ang ginawa niya? Siya ba nagbalik sa Panginoon para magsisi? Para sabihin sa Panginoon, Lord, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Punta siya ron, sa Potter's Field. Nagbikti po siya. You see, yan po ang kaibahan. Merong mga tao na maniniwala na si Christ to Diyos. But they will not believe. Merong mga tao na iniwala that Christ is a Savior. But they will not believe in Him to be the only Savior. They will try to, you know, still believe in the religion, in their tradition. Huh? Hindi ko pa rin kayang iwanan ng religion ko. Hindi ko pa rin kayang iwanan itong tradition ko. Hindi ko pa rin kayang iwanan itong ginagawa ko. Hindi ko pagkakaiba na repentance. Sapagkat ang tunay pong repentance, iniiwan mo lahat ang bagay, iniiwan mo lahat yung pananaw mo ha? at pinapaniwalaan ang revelation you know, tungkol kay Christo Jesus na nanggagaling sa bayo. No? Yan ang ibig kong sabihin. Yan ang kaiba ni Judas. Sana po tayo magiging katulad ni Peter ano? na nagkamali siya. At hindi pagkakamali. Hindi pagkakamali. Kasalanan niyo. Pinagkailan mo yun. Pinagkailan mo yun. Hindi mo kilala yung kasama. You have been with him for three and a half years. Araw-araw mo yung kasama. Pinagkailan mo hindi mo siya kasama. Hindi mo siya kilala. That was not only a great mistake. That was a great sin. Yet, when Jesus looked at him, He saw the Lord's compassion, the Lord's love for him. And the Bible says, he wept bitterly. He truly changed, repented. And he became one of the greatest apostles that ever lived. But Judas, he was so hard-headed, his heart was like a rock. And instead, of realizing that he did wrong, he sinned against God. Anong ginawa niya? Napahiya siya. Anong ginawa niya? He killed himself. Sa kanyang kahihiya. May mga tao po, nakasabi lang kahihiya. Either papatay na kanilang ng sarili o papatay sila ng tao. Kanyang po mga Pinoy. Diba ba? Pag napahiya ka, patayin mo na ng sarili mo. Pag napahiya ka, pinahiya ka niya, patayin mo siya. But never would you acknowledge your sin. Never would you humble yourself down to God. Never would you trust Him. Shall we stand? <coughs> We're standing every head we bow. Every eye because. Habang po kayo nakayuko at natukit ang inyong mga mata. Kung meron po dyan na nanonood at nakinig po sa mensaheng ito, nakita niya ang kanyang sarili na walang katiyakan ng kaligtasan, walang katiyakan ng kalangitan, walang katiyakan ng pagpapatawad ng lahat ng kanyang kasalanan, walang katiyakan na si Jesus ay nasa kanyang buhay. Sapagkat iba ang paniniwala mo. Ngayong gabi ito, hinihiling ko na lumapit ka sa Panginoon Yesus Kristo. Manampalataya ka sa Kanya na may pagsisisi at ngayon tanggapin mo siya sa iyong puso na iyong Panginoon at isang persona na tagapagpapit. Pwede kang tumawag sa kanyang pangalan right now. You can call upon his name today. And you can tell him, Lord, I am a sinner. And I have been condemned to go to hell. But Lord, thank you for your word. I repent of all my sins. I repent of all of my beliefs. I come to you. And I put my faith and trust upon you, dear Jesus. I accept you into my heart. 
as my Lord and personal Savior. I confess today <coughs> that you are the Son of God. I confess today that you are my Savior. I confess today that you died and shed your blood for me. Thank you for the gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name I pray. <coughs> At tayong mga anak ng Diyos, tayo na mga baptist na ngayon nagiginig po sa akin. I hope that we'll, we will have the humility of Peter. Realizing his sin. And he turned to the Lord Jesus Christ. So when I weep at Peter, I can watch sin. Forgive me. You know what happened? The Lord used Peter in a great and mighty way. And you know what? It is the Lord's intention to use everyone that comes to Him. He wants to use you. That's why you're still alive. You're not sick. That's why you're not in heaven yet. Because God wants you here on earth. And let your life be used for God. Heavenly Father, thank you all so much for loving us, for your goodness. Thank you for your holy word. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus, for dying on the cross for us, for shedding your precious blood. Thank you, Lord, for saving our soul. May now please bless each and every one that has listened and watched this live stream. Please protect them. Please be with them. We also bless, Lord, the offering we have on the In Christ's name, we pray. Amen. <coughs>